Hi friends, this is Manish Pandey. Welcome back. In this video, you will learn how to use ChatGPT API in Postman. We are going to use model GPT 3.5 Turbo. Let me show you the prerequisite to call OpenAI's ChatGPT API from Postman. First, we should have a Postman API platform logged in. Second, curl command for the chat completion for which you are going to make a request. Third, we need open AI API key. I'm going to help you to log into Postman API platform and then I'm going to find you the curl command and then open AI API key. Let me do it one by one. So you can see here, you need to enter postman.com and then you will get this Postman API platform. You, if you have an account, you can just sign in. If you don't have an account, you need to click on sign up. Sign up for free. Click on that. And then you can put the email ID, username and password and then click on create free account to create a free account. Or you can sign up with the Google account. Currently I have account created on this postman so I'm going to sign in now click on sign in and then I'll click on sign in with Google from list of email IDs I'm going to select one Google account and now I am in now we need to go to workspace and then click on my workspace and then click on plus okay now here you need to Put all the details and then you will able to send a request to open AI API server and then you will get response from there. Now the second thing you need that chat completion, the curl command. For that you have to log in into platform.openai.com and then click on API reference and I'm going to use GPT 3.5 Turbo. So you can also get it from making request. So there are two options we have. You can click on making request and you can see this is the curl command we have to send a request to OpenAI API server. Second you can get it from chat and then create chat completion. We have right side option to select the model. I'm going to use GPT 3.5 turbo. Here we have a library we need to select. So I'm going to use curl command this curl library and this is the complete curl command that we are going to use. So let me copy this. Okay. And now after this, we need OpenAI API key. For that, you can click on your personal account here and then click on view API keys. You can see here we have API keys. I already have created one. If you don't have any, you want, you need to create a new, you can click on new and then put your API key name and then click on create secret key. And then you need to copy this one. Copy and just keep it in a notepad so that you can use it later. So I'm going to use this API key. Let me click on done. So I'll be using secret key this one. Let me open a notepad. Let me paste this one. Okay. So this a secret key that you should not share with any other. Now let's see OpenAI API completion curl commands. This is the curl command which we copied from platform.openai.com website from the create completion. When you put all of this together and send it to the OpenAI API using the curl command, you are instructing the GPT 3.5 turbo model to generate a response based on the provided message and the parameters. And the model's response will be generated considering the input message and the desired level of randomness indicated by the temperature parameter. Let me explain each terms one by one. So this is a curl command. We have curl and then https colon slash slash api dot openai dot com slash v1 slash chat slash completion. Now what is this all? Let me show you. So let me, you know, explain these terms one by one. What is curl? 
curl stands for client url c for client and url and this is a command line tool used for making request to the urls now what is this url to which url to this api.openai.com this url so now this is the base url for the openai api and using this application can and using this application can access api service now what is this v1 so v1 whenever we see this v1 or v a number it means this is the version right so this v1 is the api version which is being used to make a request to open ai api now chat slash completion now what is this so this shows which object is being used this is used to make chat based completions using the gpd model we have few other objects like we have text completions chat completion file objects image audio like audio transcription something like that we have lots of things you can learn about this one in details from here you can learn about it this uh, objects like you can see here let me show you so if you'll come to this you can see object equal to chat dot completion so we are using this if you'll go to audio so you can see audio transcriptions so this is going to use object of audio transcription here we have a completions that is going to use this completion is different this is you going to use text completion object we have embedding embedding is going to use embedding object we have fine tuning right so there are multiple things we have you can just go through this you can learn about that one now what is this all this uh, url called this https api.openai.com v1 chat completions this is called endpoint endpoint is used to make api requests to the openai gpt platform and now let me explain this complete command we have h d content type application json authorization model messages temperature role and content right let me explain this so h and then content type application slash json so here h stands for header and with the content type and value application slash json json what is the json json stands for java script object notation this indicate that the data being sent is in the json format so we are going to send the data to the api server in json format now authorization bearer open ai api key so this includes an authorization header with an api key for authentication now we have d and then it starts with this curly brackets and here closing curly brackets right and then we have some data here like model message these things now this d stands for data right which is used in the request body to make an http request now let me explain this data this one this model message and temperature role and content model gpt 3.5 turbo so first you can understand this is in the json format right model is a property and this is the value it's like a key and value right so this specify the model you want to use for generating a response in this case you are using gpt 3.5 turbo model which is highly capable language model developed by openai now messages and then inside this you can see role user content say this is a test so this is a conversation message that you want to use as a input for the model and it's an array of object it's an array of message object you can see after this message you can see there are two uh, we can say as a property like role and content role has a different value that user and content has a different value that is say this is a test this is basically a content that we are going to pass to api server so this we say in chat gpt is a prompt so this content is a prompt 
now we have role user this indicates the role of the message sender this in indicates the role of the message sender in this case it is the user interacting with the model so here we have we are passing user and the role is the user means we are saying that that it is the user that interacting with this gpt model you can also use role assistant or system now we have content and then value is say this is a test this is the content of the message that user sends to the model and receive the response back from the gpt model so whatever you will pass in the content and based on that content based on the temperature and the role and then model you will get the response now the last one that is temperature 0.7 the temperature parameters controls the randomness of the generated output a higher value like 0.7 makes the output random more diverse and creative while a lower value like 0 0.2 makes the output more focused you can click on this playground from platform.openai.com and then you can learn more from here so we have the temperature value 0 to 2 right you can set the value between 0 to 2 you can play with this so let's say if you are asking a question that who was the first president of India and you have set a temperature as a 0 so you will get a clear output like the first president of India was Dr. Rajendra Prasad now if you will ask same question with the temperature 0 0.7 or one then it may give you some additional story it, it might give you some additional output there which will be like um, he served from this to this time right it can also include some other things so this is called temperature and this is one of the parameter that we are passing to api now let me show you the demo to call OpenAI's ChatGPT API using Postman API platform. So we'll go to this Postman and here we need to enter the endpoint. So for that you will go to this API reference, click on make making request and this is the endpoint. Let me copy this and paste here. Now we are going to use here post because we are going to post a question, a prompt to this uh, GPT model. So we will be using post here. Now you learned that this is header, this is header. So it means we need content type and this one we need to add here. So we will go to header, click on this key and then type here content type right in the value you need to pass here application slash json json right now we have authorization that is bearer api key so we can add here also but we have other option that is authorization so we'll click on that we'll go to type and from here we will select oauth 2.0 it has only few options so it will take api key as a token and then we have header prefix as a bearer which is same as this which requires prefix as a bearer and then token as a api key that we are going to pass okay now this is the api key copy this and you need to paste here the third one that is d d is for data so this data we need to pass so copy this go to this postman click on body now we have few options here we need to go to raw data raw and then from list of this uh, format we, we need to select json format and then here you need to just paste that json format data so this shows that your model this is your content and role and this is the temperature so i'm going to modify this and set temperature as a zero and here I'm going to change the content and I'm going to ask the same question 
that who was the first president of india question mark and then we are ready to run this once you will run that you will click on send you will get response here so click on send so you need to scroll down and then you will see here inside the choice inside the message we have role as assistant so we are getting from there output as assistant and the content is the first president of india was dr rajendra prasad so successfully we got the response from gpt 3.5 turbo model i hope this is very useful if so please like this video and please subscribe this channel thank you so much for watching this video if you want to learn blue prism please visit my youtube channel youtube.com slash blue prism rpa and also if you want to learn blue prism from udemy and you want to get certificate you can search for my blue prism course th there that is blue prism rpa complete course i will also put the link in in my video description you can go through that there thank you